Well, one of the biggest investors in Bitcoin is called Michael Saylor. We talked to him before. He's co-founded and now still runs MicroStrategy. Michael Saylor joins us tonight with an update on how he's feeling about Bitcoin markets. Michael, thanks so much for coming on. So you're the voice that people who are interested in this topic listen to, I think, most carefully. How are you feeling about Bitcoin? Look, Bitcoin is the most certain thing in a very uncertain world. You know, and in a market full of uh, chaos and sound and fury, people need a safe place to stand apart from the intervention of a government, an agency, or a corporation. So Bitcoin represents a fair, open, equitable network with a very simple promise to anyone that wants to join, which is what you own is yours and no one's going to take it away from you. Do you think that one of the ideas by Bitcoin was that it wouldn't be directly correlated to the equities market? So if the, you know, the S&P dropped, Bitcoin wouldn't. Are we going to see that? Well, you know, in these markets right now, there's no way, there's no simple place to hide. Uh, all the yeah. indexes are in bear market territory. Uh, bonds don't represent a safe refuge because they're currency derivatives. No. Stocks right. have to grow their cash flows faster than the inflation rate. But if you zoom out two years uh, since the beginning of the COVID crisis, you notice the U.S. money supply has expanded 36 percent. Gold is up 7 percent. The S&P index is up 29 percent. The Nasdaq's only up 19 percent. Bitcoin's up 229 percent. So if you can stomach the volatility and you take the long view, you've got a safe haven there. So, I mean, I guess the, the simplest measure of how you feel is what you're doing. What are you doing with Bitcoin right now? Are you buying or selling? Whenever I have some spare cash, we buy more Bitcoin. Yeah, we're, we're taking a very, very long view toward this. The network's only getting better. Adoption is improving. Very constructive regulation is coming out of D.C. And uh, the Lightning Network is moving us closer to Satoshi's promise of letting everybody in the world trade with each other at the speed of light in a fair and equitable fashion. So you're buying? Yeah, I'll be buying at the top forever. Right? The maximalists <laughs> believe Bitcoin's an, an instrument of economic empowerment. I'm not trying to time in the market. Right. I well, just want to be in it. That tell, I always want to know what people are doing, not what they're saying. So that, that really tells the story. Michael Saylor, great to see you tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tucker.